Living in Newfoundland has always influenced my art. Uh, it's about uh, the land, it's about the sea, it's about uh, my, my Mi'kmaq culture. I mean, my, my artwork is about who I am and where I'm from. It's also a way to, uh, to share my voice with other peoples that have uh, a similar story as mine. Living here in Newfoundland, you know, in Gdansk, we call it the place across the waves, because our our uh, ancestry is so completely different here than anywhere else in, in North America. You know, this was the first place of contact. Being so regionalized here, it's hard to make a living. So I find myself doing other other things to supplement my income. Working here over the years, honing my skills as a printmaker, that my peers recognized my abilities as a printmaker, and I became what is uh, called a master printer which enabled me to uh, supplement my income by printing for other established artists. It's taken its toll over the years. I've become a, like a production machine in myself, you know. And three years ago I had uh, back surgery and I have carpal tunnel now in both my, my wrists and the mind is getting a little weaker too. And if you ask me now, what, what will I be doing this time next year? I have no idea. I still have that dream I had years ago of being able to, you know, live in the country, have a studio and and uh, have a show periodically and make a living. I mean, that's, that's my dream, that's my goal, but uh, until such time, I have to be content to live the life I'm living right now, and, uh, but I'll always make my artwork. I mean, a writer will always write, an artist will always make his art. I mean, it's, uh, you don't retire from that. I mean, it's a lifelong commitment. I have to keep doing it, you know? If, I, if I'm in a wheelchair next year, I'll, I'll still be making art somehow, you know? What have I got to pen or, or a brush stuck in my mouth, I mean, I'll, I'll still do it. I'll, I'll, I'll have to do it. That passion is there. Mm -hmm.